the lunch group. Yeah, you're going to be at their uh, luncheon next Thursday? Yeah. I'm going to put a spot here. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't. Jake will be at our lunch can't meeting. Be at that Pardon? Someone can't be at that right. Yeah. So the people that are leaving are going to be there in February. We'll get you a lunch. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Lee, go ahead and get through your presentation. Okay. And so questions are good. We want questions. Uh, but again, you're asking a lot of questions, and he's going to go over at our next meeting. He will be here in February. He will be here in February. We've already made arrangements to for him yeah. to come back in February to give us a few weeks. I'm good. I'm, this is going all right, so yeah, I'll be there. So <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. You guys get really excited about real estate. So I don't want to put a damper on your questions, but I do want him to be able to get to his material, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, thanks very much. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Hey, let's, let's just all have lunch tomorrow. Let's do this. I don't care. <laughs> all right, so to answer your question, I, on a first-time home buyer home, I just assume a complete redo on the inside is going to cost me between 10 and 15, depending on how many holes and how bad it really is. Uh, outside of a house, it costs me around 1,200 to paint if it needs paint. And then I assess the roof. So I just do just blanket costs for general stuff, and then I look at the big ticket items, furnace, roof. And roof. I don't really. I don't ever replace siding. I don't put new windows in. Just pepper everything up, doctor it, and throw it on for a good price. That's what I do. I, uh, I I did it once and I didn't. I didn't like it, so I stopped doing it. <laughs> um, all right. So that got out of hand. Um, for sale soon or now. These are a couple of projects I have going on right now. If anybody's interested in buying a house for retail. Uh, to move into. <laughs> it's shameless plug. Shameless plug. I'm not, oh yeah, shameless. I'm not really, I'm just, you know, hey. Yeah, here's a couple of houses that are going to be awesome. I just closed on that one uh, December. It's going to be cool. So if you're interested, contact Ginger here at Keller Williams. Do a little picture up on there. <laughs> No, she couldn't make it tonight, unfortunately. Oh, sh oh, really? All right, somebody wants retail stuff. All right, eight six nine eight seven seven nine. She's all over the Keller Williams websites and whatnot. Google her. She's Googleable. All right, all right. So, how you two can make this kind of money in real estate? Um, it's, you guys are obviously interested. <laughs> Um, or anything, really. There's uh, so many opportunities out there to make money for somebody who's taking action to actually do this stuff. I've, I, I've, got, I've got a handle on real estate, so now I'm like drop shipping, eBay business, what do I want to do, you know? There's tons of ways to make money, as long as you're just getting out there and do it. Um, so I already covered my experience starting out was nil. Uh, I just took a lot of action. How I got my start, I ended up winning the lottery in Washington. Um, <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I had a rich uncle who gave me money. Um, I didn't do that either. I just set it as a goal, and I did it. I found whoever I needed to find and just steamrolled anybody in my way. That was pretty much how it went. So business now, uh, business now is purely, it's a business, all right? If you're just doing this as a hobby, I highly encourage you to stop that um, and look at it as, as a business. With systems, I structured my business like McDonald's. I say Jake turns houses like McDonald's turns cheeseburgers. It's kind of what I like to say, mostly to myself. I don't, <laughs> I don't share that a lot. But you put up better, better cheeseburgers than everybody else. Yeah. I, okay, well, whoever, whoever the best. The thing about McDonald's, they don't have the best cheeseburgers. You go to any mom and pop store, you're going to find a better cheeseburger. But they have a, they, they crank out for whatever. They have a system, okay? They, they cranks out cheeseburgers. They've got a 16-year-old kid in Japan and California turning out the exact same cheeseburger, and that's kind of what I've done with my business. It's all of my house. You'll you walk into my house and you walk into another one. They're pretty much they're pretty much identical except for the whoever the architect was did some crazy stuff. But um, yeah, so it's systemized. I find I be, I'm still acquisitions. I still find the deals. Turn it over to rehabbers. Rehabbers turn it over to stagers, cleaners. Stagers, cleaners turn it over to Ginger to sell it. And it's just a boom, 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 boom. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's got a, they've all got a <laughs> checklist system. Anyway, all right. So how you two can do the same? I'd like to. I could cover all the nuts and bolts. Tell you exactly how I do it. I can give you all my systems, my checklists. You could sit down and shadow me for a billion years, but until you actually decide and set it as a goal. 
it's never, it's just never going to happen. That's all it takes. Like I didn't have any of that when I started. I just set it as a goal. I didn't have me. I never saw anybody like me talking in any seminars. So it was just, I just did it. It was really kind of how it went. I was just young and dumb, and I was like, hey, flip my house, cool. Um, so yeah, set it as a goal, and then set sub goals. So you're going to need goals for it's, a, it's a, flipping houses is a big goal. So you're going to need to break it down, set out a plan. We're going to go over more of that later. And then, like I covered, find funding partners. It's going to be the biggest drawback for most people. Um, but whatever you have to do to get somebody, put some cash in their pocket. I love paying my, my investors because they put a smile on their face, and then they lend me more money to put more deals together. And then take persistent action. So let's get started, finally. Setting goals and controlling your mind to transform your life. So here's a goal-setting seminar, but it's a cool one. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll get to that um, because I'm going to tell you how to take action on your goals. It's not going to be, hey, set goals. It's gonna, this is how you do it. This is how you take action on those goals. I'm excited, so let's just get to it. Um, why are we talking about goals? Nothing was ever achieved until someone decided to do it. That's pretty much it. And then a uh, nice quote by Tony Robbins, neat and all. Read that if you want. It's, um, so it starts with belief. What would happen if you believed you could achieve any goal you set for yourself? Today I'll, change, I'll challenge you to test it out. So if you don't believe you can achieve any goals, then uh, that's where you need to start. You need to, your number one goal right now is to believe you can achieve goals. We'll cover more of that in my system. I should really just jump to the system. Oh, this is just kind of fluff and fluffy stuff. Okay, so I set a goal of being the best. When I was growing up, Sean Kemp was the man. Dunking on people all the time. I was big into basketball, and uh, I set a goal to uh, to dunk a basketball. I wanted to be the best dunker in my high school, all right? Um, so I'll talk more about that later. But why should I have goals? Here's a newsflash. I just wanted everybody to know this. Um, we as humans, we've already discovered how to achieve everything we set our minds to. That's <laughs> end of seminar. Let's go. <laughs> you know, so, like. We've already figured it out. Like, and if you just emulate and mirror people who have already done it, then I mean, it's, it's, more, it's no more difficult than that. The only thing that you need to do is figure out how to take action, and that's through the, that's through using your mind. You have to, you basically have to coerce yourself into taking action if you're not persistently doing it now. If it's not a habit you take on a daily basis, uh, it needs to be. So, we've already figured out how to accumulate massive amounts of money. The number of millionaires is going to double and, and triple and quadruple and everybody's, I mean, if people who are wanting to make money have, have done it. If you want to do it, you can do it. There's millions of people who can show you exactly how they did it. They're all writing books and they all sell products and stuff like that. Um, you can figure it out if you want to. Here's another cool graph. So a lot of, th a lot of things people say is, oh, they inherited it, won the lottery, blah, blah, blah. 81% of them were self-made. 80, 81 for, went from absolutely just ridiculously just on the, on the bottom end of things to, to millionaires. So 81%, I mean, people do it. There's the news flash. We can all do it too. Um, we can do anything, actually. If you set a goal to find love, become famous, successful, happy, land on the moon, whatever you want to do. Did anybody see that movie with Billy Bob Thornton? He wanted to fly a rocket to the moon. It was awesome. <laughs> That's a cool movie. Um, uh, so, all right. So, on top of that, you've already proven it to yourself numerous times because you're all here. You're all wearing clothing. You know, you're you probably have a car and a license and everything else, right? Am I making points here? <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. So, um, really, really, it just comes down to not deciding to settle for anything less than. Greatness is really how it comes, or really all that it comes down to. If you're just, if you're fine with being, if you're fine with that, with being with settling for the scraps or whatever's left over, then just knock it off. I mean, and we'll all cover out, uh, how to take action on the goals you're going to set for yourself here in a bit. Really, it just comes down to setting bigger goals. You set a goal to get dressed this morning. Let's up, let's up, let's up things a little bit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> up the scales, you know? Like, how about flip a house? <laughs> you know, like, let's make an offer or whatever it needs to be. Okay, so a couple of bullets on why you should have goals. Uh, this is tiny. Really, it's to achieve more for yourself and others. Um, 
to, and to contribute. I think the, anybody who's achieved massive amounts of success in life, it really just comes back to them wanting to contribute to, to others, the people they love. I, I love the idea. I'll talk about making a list of your big whys, the, the, the bad things that are going to happen if you don't become successful and the great things that are going to happen if you do become successful and reviewing that list. I do that continuously. I actually recorded myself on my phone. I listen to it in my car or whenever I'm just kind of feeling down about things, which happens. Everybody's, humans are cyclical. You just go up and down, but you can, you can, know, you can recognize it and bring yourself out of it, basically. Is, all right, so here's just some bullets on why you need to have goals. Basically, it's in your nature to have goals. If you, and if you're not, if you don't have goals, then you're going to suffer, then you're going to suffer from some things like unrest, stress, depression, low confidence, uh, low self-esteem, all like doctors have these magic pills. I know they, they have these magic pills, right? That cures everything, makes everything go away. But the real reason, if, if you're not living the lifestyle of somebody who's a healthy human being who has goals and is uh, striving for things and, you know, just trying to better themselves on a continuous basis because that's what's in your nature as a human being, you're going to, you're going to just going to suffer from all these, all these just bad things. Like you, I, I run around, I run around Spokane and I talk to people who are just negative down on everything and they just have no ambition to go anywhere. They're just meandering and it's just killing them. You know, they're just, if you're not growing, if you're not growing, then you're dying. It's just a universal law. If a flower is not blooming, then it's on its way out, you know, so it can do the same thing next year, whatever they do. It's just something that happens in our universe. So we kind of have to get accustomed to. So this activate your reticular activating system. That's just some subconscious mind hoopla stuff. It's powerful, but I'm not going to go into it. Use your subconscious mind. Uh, future worth best served, which, yeah, if you have goals and you're constantly focusing on the future, if you're, if you're worried about the past and all the terrible things that happened to you and reliving all the negative stuff that happened to you in your childhood and blah bitty blah bitty, you're just focusing on the negative and that's acting to bring you down, really. You need to focus on your goals. You need to focus on how awesome the future looks and it's going to keep you active. It's going to keep you positive and it's going to keep you present it's going to keep you present focused on what you're doing and aspiring to great things so i'm constantly you can kind of tell i'm constantly uh i'm just big into the mind i'm very i'm very a big believer on the power of the mind and everything that you can do with it it defeats boredom lack of vision i listed way too many things here let's just be done with this um and it, goals just help you grow and if you're growing you're dying etc and uh i think Okay, so Chris mentioned if you don't have goals, you don't have a vision, you don't have focus, you don't know where you're going. You're just you're just floating along through life, and you're just you're you're ending up uh, you're ending up with what's left over. You're ending up with just circumstance. You're not making your own destiny, etc. But I mean, to be honest, if you're waiting for something to happen on accident, the things that happen in ac on accident in life kind of suck most of the time. Unless it's kids, I'm not down on kids, but but <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's, it's just that fun, but if you're actually, I'm going to do this and I'm reaching for something cool, then it's going to be awesome and you're going you're gonna to get it as long as you stay persistent and overcome hurdles. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna, everybody's going to take a look at this picture real quick. That's it. Uh, look, okay, look at this picture. It's kind of dark in here. All right, so I didn't give you any goals about the picture. If, if you had specific goals with regard to that picture, you would have you would have found what you were looking for, okay? The point of this whole is, I'm trying to drive home focus here. Um, so how many of you know how many people were in the picture? By a show of hands, anybody? Couldn't see the picture. Yeah, it was really, it was really bright. Okay. How, okay, how many knew what color the sunglasses were? Okay, a few of us, good, good. All right, how many people uh, knew what color the boys' shorts were? Okay, good. <laughs> That's it. So why do we miss those things? Because we weren't focusing on it. It wasn't our goal. Let's say, let's say the boys' shorts are a great deal. Okay? If, you're not, if, you're not, if you don't have a goal to find a great deal, you're, gonna, you're just going to drive right on by it. You're not going to see it. It's going to pass through your in, in, inbox. You know? It's just going to pass you by. You have to have a goal to see those things. So um, we missed it because it wasn't a goal we had. So now your goal is to find out how many people are in the picture. This is going to be kind of tough because it's... 
And this is actually not a super. Okay. All right, here we go. Find how many people are in the picture. <laughs> Good question. I knew somebody would ask me that. All right, so there were three people in the picture. One lady taking the picture, one boy holding the glasses, and then one in, sitting in front. Did you guys see what color the sunglasses were? <laughs> they were white. All right, they were white. I think I've, I've driven this point home. You guys get it, right? Focus, goals, spread view. And that's just one of the benefits on my list of however 20 that were up there. Um, all right, so how do I set goals? It's easy, it doesn't take a lot of time, and it's the only thing. I realized early on that self like relying on my self-discipline was going to get me nowhere with regard to accomplishing my goals. So I just was trying to figure out a way to, uh, to get rid of people. If you're going to rely on willpower and self-discipline to, to achieve your goals, it ain't going to work. That's it. So there's our problem. How do we overcome it? Here's what we're going to break into. All right, so page one, page one tells you how I set my goals. If you guys aren't familiar with how you set your goals. By the way, Yale study, if you guys are familiar, they did a survey on the graduating class of 19 something or other on the graduating students at Yale to find out how many of them had written goals. 3% did, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard this. 3% had written goals. At the 10 or 20 year reunion, whatever it was, they, they did another survey on those students. Those 3% of the students that had written their goals down had accumulated more wealth than all of the other 97% of the students combined. Graduating from Yale, I have to, I have to think that people from Yale were doing some things coming out of, coming out of college, you know, but that's the power. If you, if you, just, if you left here and, and wrote your goals down, that's going to put you light years ahead of everybody else. And I, I, I hope I have driven the point and the importance of goals to you, but please just do that, please. And it's, I wrote a system down on, page, on the top of page one as my step-by-step -step system for exactly how to write goals. I think it's kind of neat. Um, check it out. Um, it works. Yeah, and it works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is, I mean, it's exactly what I do to achieve my goals. Like, this is, I'm a, I'm a systems guy, so I'm not, I didn't leave out a step. You know what I mean? This is exactly step-by-step -step how I've been able to achieve my goals. All right, so how do I achieve my goals? This is what I want to spend the majority of our time today going over. Um, simply put, <laughs> take action, but it's not that simple. Uh, otherwise, we'd all be blinged out sitting next to our limo drivers right now. we need twice as many seats. We'd just be, be living large in Spokane. Um, so, we have, okay, so the, the problem is we have a couple of hurdles. So why don't we take, why don't we, why can't we just rely on self-discipline and willpower? A couple of reasons. We seek efficiency. As human beings, we're always looking for the easiest and most simplistic way to do stuff, okay? It's, it's actually a great trait. It's the reason why we have technology, you know, a lot of things. The reason why we're not all still riding around on horses. You know, we got cars. It's easier. We're lazy, you know? And that's great. But it can lead to laziness. If, we, if we're too good at being efficient, like if you're really good at being efficient, it's going to be a problem. It's going to end up being a hurdle for you. Um, you can also be you can also be too cautious if you're worried about. I tell you, when I was running around at 2 a.m. in Spokane putting bandit signs up, I'm, I think you guys probably even see them. I won't mention which ones are mine. <laughs> but I was a little scared. I was ducking cops. You know, there were a lot of cops out at that time of night, and it's not exactly something that like, they don't drive by with thumbs up. You know, yeah. Get it done, Jake. You know, <laughs> taking action, man. Yes. No, that's not how it works out. Um, so yeah, you can be it's fear of failure, fear of success. Put a label on it. I don't care. But setting goals is going to overcome all this stuff. Self, we're easily fooled. We can talk ourselves out of things, uh, and we're peaceful, which means we're always seeking comfort. We want everything to be nice and cozy and rose petals and smell good. That ain't real life, and that's going to keep you from achieving some of your goals. If, that's, if, you're, gonna, if you're worried about stepping on toes, you're going to step on toes. I was, yeah, the cops are calling me. I didn't like it, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so we define the problem. What, then, is our solution? Goals. Pause for effect. <laughs> All right. The solution is I created and implemented a system that coerces me into achieving what I desire despite these natural tendencies. 
That's it. All right, so do, please do explain. I, I'm going to detail out my system. It's a step-by-step -step process. I included some of it in your packet. Um, but first, three more things to cover quickly. First, you are just a big culmination of habits. 97% of everything that you do, all of your actions, yearly, daily. I'm not talking about smoking and, and all that other stuff. I'm talking about like me, the way I'm clicking this pointer, the way I'm walking around, how we all ended up in this room was a big culmination of 97% habits. Those, in turn, affect how you conduct yourself on a daily to day basis. The, I have different habits than everybody in this room. Donald Trump has different habits than I have. I would love Donald Trump's habits. And that's kind of what, we're, what you need to aspire to, is to develop habits similar to those guys. All right, so yeah, we are our habits. So if you're going to set goals, you're gonna, goals equal a change in habits. If you change your habits, you're, equal, you're achieving your goal, basically is how it works out. Um, if you have an action, if you have a habit of taking action, you're going to achieve your goals. So that's what this whole uh, system is kind of all about. Uh, you have habits that are helping or hurting you. Uh, new results equals new habit and belief. So if you're, if you're effectively able to change your habits, you're going to be able to change your beliefs. You're going to achieve those goals. Goals is really just about, I mean, we all, we all want more money in the bank, but that's really just going to help us to become better and grow. The more I realized early on that I, I, uh, I wanted to make more money, and I thought it was so I could buy a Lamborghini and drive all over town in it. But it really comes down to just being a better person and being able to help other people. If you're, I mean, if you're just scraping by, you're not able, you're not helping anybody. You're just not. And it's, it's unfortunate. We're in the most successful country, arguably right now, in the world, and our planet Earth is possibly the most resourceful planet in the whole freaking universe, right? Okay. So. And a lot of us are in our prime right now. Like, add, start adding things up. It doesn't make sense just to be, like, I get pissed off sometimes when I'm, I just get mad at myself. Like, what am I doing? You know, anyway, um, that's not on the slide, Jake. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, bottom line, you must change. You must change your habits. How do you change your habits? Through, through setting goals. OK, how? Everybody, goals, got it. All right. <laughs> All right, secondly, you need to develop a song, Belief in Yourself. If you don't believe you can achieve your goals, how are you going to do it? You're going to set goals. Good, Jake. We got it. Um, if, you don't, if you don't believe you can achieve your goals and you're never, I mean, you're not even going to write them down. What's the point? What's the point if you don't think you can do it? I mean, don't even write it down. <laughs> you know? So developing that belief in yourself is, is job number one. And a great, you just need to set it as a goal. A great way to do it is to change your media. Me not, media not being news, media being everything that you allow to influence you. TV, commercials, friends, hobbies, uh, the books you're reading, music you're listening to, everything. I'm going to go over that later in my system. But I, I, consciously, I consciously choose who I associate with, how I associate with it, movies I watch, everything else. It's not, it's not just a, like a biblical thing that's something you should do. It's just something that's very, very powerful. Uh, look for new evidence to support you in your new belief. So you got somebody telling you you're dumb, just you know, look look for new evidence to show them to prove to yourself that you're smart. You know, stuff like that. All right. Uh, and then let go of excuses. You pr you're, everybody's got excuses. I was too young. That was my biggest one. What the heck am I doing? I'm 20 years old. You know. <laughs> um, um, that lack of education. Uh, everything like. All these excuses, you can come up with a logical reason why all this stuff doesn't make sense. If you don't have a degree, like, professors are not super successful. They're just, you know, brainiac guys. You don't need a degree to be successful. Bad timing, the economy, that's ridiculous. I'm so sick of people filling their heads with this media from the news, thinking that it's just disempowering you. It's not helping anybody. They're just, they're just boosting ratings. It doesn't make any sense to listen to that stuff. But... Um, and the timing's never going to be right, you know? That's what my mom keeps telling me about kids. You know, just, just do it, man. What are you doing? <laughs> this timing's got to be right, Mom. And I don't even believe that, but just get off my back about it. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's a bunch of beliefs. Physical, mentally incapable. I mean, you're just, you're just limiting yourself. Fortune favors the bull, one of my coolest, one of the coolest quotes I like. I, I, it took, I took a lot of bold action 
getting to this point. I wanted to get a tattoo of it. It would have been my first, but a buddy of mine beat me to it, so I, I couldn't do that. Anyway, um, take responsibility. Uh, if you th uh, another thing, you have to believe in yourself, you have to realize you need to change your habits, and you need to take responsibility. If everybody else is responsible for where you're at right now, you're not going to think you can change anything by setting goals. Uh, bar none. So, and you'll, rec you'll know if you're not taking responsibility for your life if you're ever complaining, complaining or blaming somebody else. If, you're ever, if you ever catch yourself doing that, you need like the biggest rubber band on your wrist that you smack yourself with. <laughs> it's, it, like... Uh, there are there are small minute amount of things that are not in your control, and even if they are even if they aren't in your control, you can you can choose how you respond to those things. You can respond positively or negatively. It's your it's your choice. So, and the, that's your responsibility too. So even if I get even if I get hit with even if I get hit with lightning, I can use that. How cool would it be if I got up here and said I got hit with lightning and I'm a real estate investor? You know, I can use that as a positive. <laughs> that would suck, but I'm just saying, you guys would be inspired right now. If I'm, if I'm gimping up here, you know, just, yeah. I got hit with lightning. Still got it done, whatever. Um. <laughs> Should I button it up a little bit, or is this good? Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I wasn't expecting this much of me to come out. That would be nice and formal, but. I don't really care. My boss isn't in the room, so I don't have one. But um. <laughs> all right, so you're no longer allowed to blame or complain. If you got if you got a, an accountability partner, husband, wife, and you guys, seriously, I'm so sick of hearing people complaining about how bad things are. Just 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 stop it. Just knock it off. So um, if you don't take responsibility, you won't see the point in setting goals. Because everybody else, if you're if you're down on life right now, if everything sucks, if you have had all these negative experiences happen to you, which we all have, um, some of us more than most, but uh, you just take response, own up to it, learn from it. Every time the sale falls through, the house didn't sell for as much as I wanted, just terrible things, all the plumbing pipe bursted, whatever it was, oh, well, now I should probably, I, you know, I'll take responsibility for that, own it. Now I should probably have the plumbing checked out before the city comes out to turn the, to turn the water on, you know? Take responsibility for it. There's always a lesson to be learned, and you won't make that mistake next time. It'll make you more successful. Okay. Uh, okay, how do, you, how do you change the blame, complain habit and start taking responsibility? I got coupons for anybody who wants to answer this. Lowe's coupons. I brought some. I know you want some, Trent. <laughs> All right, guys. Isn't there, isn't there a pill for that? <laughs> it's a pill. Talk to your doctor. He'll give you a magic pill. No, um, I'm not disclaiming doctors. There are chemical imbalances and everything like that, but it's a very small majority. You're going you're gonna to set goals to uh, start taking responsibility. If you're one person who complains, set it as a goal not to complain anymore. Start taking responsibility for where you're at and how you got here. Everybody, up, everybody in this room, this point, this exact moment in your life is from the choices that you made. You took responsibility to get here. I applaud you. It's awesome. Uh, I mean... And you're taking action. You're taking action right now. So I don't, maybe I don't even need to be talking about things in, to people in this room. But um, yeah, maybe I do. So how do I achieve my goals? Jake's action system. <laughs> Copyright pending. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it is in the pamphlet, page two, I believe. I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to babble on a little bit more before we get there. So I kind of just, I kind of explained systems. The, the entire universe is a big culmination of a complex system. The earth heats the, or the sun heats the earth. We all spin around in perfect rotation. The government set up crazy systems to try and manage our crazy selves. Um, and then the most successful businesses run on systems. I've adopted that philosophy for my goal setting system and life in general. Um, and they're how I achieve anything I want. I have a, I just, I put together, this is not my first attempt at goal setting either. Uh, it took me, a, I mean, this is not, this is version 25, because the first.